Hello, uh, my name is Paul Mason and uh, today we're going to be unpacking The Gift. This is an essay that was published by Marcel Mauss in 1925. It was originally written with jurists and economists in mind, but The Gift has also been a highly influential article for anthropologists. Um, the essay on The Gift by Marcel Mauss is about politics, economics, economics, and also encompasses emotions, morality, legal matters, sentimentality, and religion. Uh, Marcel Mauss did not conduct fieldwork himself, but he did craft his theories through comparison and generalization across cultures. Um, he did not attempt to embrace and analyze all forms of exchange, but he studied, on, he studied one particular form of exchange across several societies. And he was in, interested in particular in in a type of gift exchange that he called total prestations or prestation totale. It's a, he's a, originally a, a French writer and any word that ends in T-I-O-N is generally a, a, a French word. So prestation um, is a French word meaning uh, an entitlement or an endowment or a gift um, or a benefit. Um, and he, he was interested in these uh, total phenomena, these total acts of gift giving, these wide ranging and enduring circulation of sacred gifts throughout groups or subgroups. Uh, in theory, gifts are voluntary, they're disinterested and, and potentially spontaneous. But in fact, when you think about it, gifts are in fact obligatory. And Marcel Mauss identified three obligations when it came to gift giving. One was the obligation to give. So, for example, you go to a wedding or a birthday and you have to bring a gift. Uh, the other obligation is the obligation to receive. Um, to, for example, uh, you know, refusing a gift, for example, can be very rude. So you want to, there is an obligation to receive. He also talked about the obligation to reciprocate. Uh, to to return the favor and so this is why the gift is kind of incomplete sometimes you'll give something and then at a later date someone will give you something in return or uh, for example you might go for a drink at the pub with the with some friends and then you'll buy one round and then you expect one of your other friends to buy the next round um, this is this is called reci reciprocity so let's unpack the gift and uh, and see what's inside okay Oh, I love getting gifts. Okay. Aha. Okay. Here's the man himself. This is Marcel Mouse. I'm sorry that you're getting mirror view. I'll hopefully fix that up in editing. Um, in, <laughs> if I have fixed it up in editing, then don't worry. What I've just said doesn't make sense. This is Marcel Mouse. Now, um, his. You might think that with that beautiful moustache and that beautiful beard, he was the original hipster. But he wasn't. It was actually his uncle, Emil Durkheim. Emil Durkheim uh, is a very French, famous French theorist. And Emil Durkheim worked very closely with his nephew, Marcel Mauss, on a lot of work. And they published a work called Primitive Cl Classification together. Now, Emil Durkheim unfortunately passed away before the essay on the gift was published. But the essay on the gift is a continua continuation and realization of Durkheim's project to produce a theory that could be validated by observation. Okay, so let's unpack the next part of the gift. Three anthropologists who informed Mauss's essay. So Mauss was a was a very very well read person. He was knew a number of languages. He knew a lot about history. But he was also very interested in anthropology and, and, and in ethnographic fieldwork.